Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with another ClickFunnels quick tip. And today we're going to take a look at an issue that some people are having, well, I think everybody's having with the countdown element, countdown timer element, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Because what happens is when you go to a mobile view, what it'll do is it'll stack the days right here on top of the rest of this. So let's just uh, click over here. I had a live page open. So let's just shrink this down until we pop into mobile view. And there we go. The days go on top of the hours, minutes, and seconds. And some people don't want that. I guess I understand why it was put in here. And the reason why it was put in here is because you can also put in other stuff like um, weeks and et cetera, et cetera. Let's see, we can put in here weeks, months, and years even. So then if we save that and we go out here and we reload this page, then as we go down to uh, mobile, it has your years, months, weeks, days up at the top and the actual minutes, seconds, hours below it. So that makes sense. But if you only have just days in here, it does look a little clunky with one sitting on top of the other. So let me show you a quick way that you can fix this, but also be aware that depending on the mobile device and things like that, it it may or may not work. If you've got a really narrow mobile device, it still may be too wide. So let's just walk through the steps really quickly on how to put one of these in. We're going to come down here to count down, and we're going to come over. We're going to go into the settings, and in this case here, I just put a bunch of padding at the top to push it down a bit. And then I came into the time down here, and I said, let's over ride this and let's just make the numbers a little bit bigger just so we could see them and then also for mobile uh, oops uh, as soon as it changes there I lost it so we got mobile we got that a little bit bigger as well so let's come back down here countdown let's put the days back in I think I turned that off by accident and we'll do labels again and so we will make the oops we will make the labels a little bit bigger and then also on the mobile we will make them bigger as well and see like I said here we're already kind of maybe having an issue maybe we got to come back in here and make um, make some of this a little bit smaller so it doesn't get so quite so wide so there we go so then like I said let's save this here and let's reload the page and it should be showing us this here and then let's just skinny this up so it pops into mobile and see there's what you got so let's take a look at this over here and we're going to inspect this element and we're going to see that we got two different lines here both of them are built with flex and what the flex does in here is it essentially uh, stacks everything on top of each other so if we turn off oops wrong row let's go in here Let's go to this line right there. Am I in the right place here? So what you see there is as I turned off the flex, uh, it made everything side by each like that, and that's not what we want in here. I think I was clicking on some of the wrong stuff. That's why I was having trouble finding it. Uh, So what we want to do is come up to this level right here. So our L countdown row right there, it is also flex, but it says here we got flex as a column. So let's click on this little icon right there. And so we got it flex column, which means basically up up and down. You can do reverse flex, put, put it the other way around, but that won't make any sense here. Uh, but what we can also do is we can also say row. So we want to put it in a row. We could do it as a reverse row, but again, that doesn't make any sense either unless somewhere in the world they tell time that way. I don't know. Um, But so here we go. We got days, hours, minutes, and seconds. So how are we going to put this into our page? Well, the one thing I want to do is just come up here and I'm going to double click on here and I'm going to copy that because that is a class that we need to know. And then above here, we also have this ID. So what we're going to do, well, actually, technically, this is a class up here. What I'm pointing to is particularly this this part right here, the ID 6Z, etc. Um, that is a unique identifier, but it is a class. It is not an ID. So inside of 2.0, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn that into an ID and then we are going to give it the class and then we should be able to do the rest. So let's go in here real quick. And again, we're working on this element here. So we'll come up, we'll click on the little code and that gives us the sidebar over here, which is what we need because we need to generate this ID. 
And then what I'm going to do before I go any further is I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to hit a couple of returns and I'm going to paste in that class just so I don't lose it. And then I'm going to grab a hold of this ID. We'll come back up here, and we're just going to paste that into line two. And then we're going to put a period here, so we got a space, which says it's a child element. It's not on the same line, so it's a child element. And this child element is a class that we're looking for, and it's L countdown row uh, right there is our class. We are going to put in our curly brackets and then we're going to put in what we want to change this to and in this case here what did we do where did we go we want to come back down to here we change this here from flex direction of column to flex direction of row so all we have to do is just come in here and we can just copy this out and we will pop that in right there and now, um, now I think about it, is this going to work all the time or is this only going to work on mobile? So let me just pause here for one second. And I clicked the wrong button and actually turned off the recording. So uh, what I do have in here is correct. I wasn't sure if I needed an important tag at the end of here uh, to be able to override the rest of the CSS or not, or whether this would work all the time. But as I started to think about it then, is it will work all the time because in this state, okay, so when we are in the desktop state, if we look at this right here, it says uh, we are in the flex, uh, flex direction of row, which is what I had this set to. And when we went to mobile then, that's when it changed. So the mobile said, go to uh, flex direction of column, but we are overriding that by putting that in up here. It is overriding it and it is leaving it as a column. So again, my caveat on this is you gotta test it on different mobile devices, test your font size, make sure it does fit in the width and then also you probably only want to use this when you're using days not weeks months and years so as always if you got any questions just let me know